Coach, can you hear us? Yeah, I got you. All right, we'll get the media here gathered around. We'll let you start us off here. Yep, sounds good. I uh, appreciate you guys being here. Sorry I'm not able to be there. Um, on Tuesday, I was notified that I tested positive for COVID. Um, it was just a part of the normal procedures for us. Um, and uh, so I tested Tuesday morning, went in the building, uh, into my office. We wait to get the results back. The results came back positive. Um, fortunately, they were, you know, the building was able to give me all the video equipment and everything we need. Um, and that's been great. I've been able to work out of my house. Um, technology is impressive. I got all the video here. I'm able to make all the meetings and uh, be in all the meetings virtually, obviously, with the players. And um, Coach Campbell's been great. The players have been great uh, so far this week. It really hasn't affected our game planning or the, really the way we go about things other than not being able to be in the building in person. Um, but uh, Jed will uh, handle, Jed Mockins, my assistant, and Don Mielbach have been handling all the meetings uh, in person. And then uh, obviously Dan Campbell is a huge part of all this stuff. And so uh, hopefully I'll be able to test negative twice before uh, Sunday afternoon. Obviously that's the goal. But uh, if that doesn't happen, then uh, Coach Campbell and Jet will end up taking care of it. The players obviously uh, come Sunday afternoon. How are you feeling, first of all? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's uh, I feel terrible because I feel great, to be honest with you. Um, I know this disease is uh, whatever devastating to some people. I think that's probably the hardest thing with the whole thing is that everybody has such a different experience um, with it. For me, I mean, I feel as good as I've ever felt, uh, whatever, seven weeks into a season with the record the way we have it. But uh um, yeah, fortunately for me, I feel great. Uh, I feel totally healthy. I really have no symptoms. Um, we're not really sure exactly where I got it. Uh, I got three kids and a wife and they all feel healthy and, and whatnot. And luckily everyone around the building still been fine. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly where it came from or whatnot, but, uh, I do feel great. Um. I'm sure this will be disappointing to be out of the building regardless, but you are playing your old team this week. Do you have any any emotions going against them or potentially not being around you know, on the field for that game? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, well, I'd, I'd say this. I mean, I've coached football for 24 years. Um, I've missed one practice and one day at work. It was for our son's birth. Um, so yesterday was obviously the second one. Um, so I hate that in general. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, it really wouldn't matter who we're playing. Um, I think as a coach, you want to be in the building and you want to be around the players and you want to be a part of the game. That's why we do it. Um, so uh, regardless, Philly or anybody else, um, you know, hopefully I'll end up getting back for it. But if not, I know uh, the players and the coaches will do a great job. Does this keep everything in perspective that we still are in the midst of this? I mean, like, you know, we, in the middle of the season, obviously everybody's so focused on the task, but I mean, we are still in the midst of it. Guess you, guess you can still say it's a pandemic. You know, does it still put things in perspective for you? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to – I think as a coach, you're so focused on what you're doing. And, you know, I'll be honest. I mean, I think we get lost. We just go into a building every day and, and we work all day and then come home late at night and go back in early the next morning and do the same thing over again. Um, so I couldn't really – I don't have much perspective that way. Um, but uh, – I know I feel fortunate that I feel healthy. Um, I would say it's frustrating because you feel healthy, but somebody's telling you you're testing positive still. All you want to do is be in the building and, and coach and go to work. But uh, so anyway, it is what it is. Okay, this is the first time we've gotten you since uh, since Sunday. Just curious your your perspective on the, the three trick plays there. All successful, obviously. What you, would you think of that? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, it was fun to be a part of those plays. Um, I, I would say just really for me personally, I feel like two people are really involved with those things. I would give credit to the head coach. I mean, Coach Campbell, he's incredible. I, I know that we're all graded as coaches by our record um, at the end of the day, but I would just say being inside the, the building with him on a daily basis uh, it's been just an incredible experience. The guy's so focused on trying to be the best that he can be and, and putting our players and our team in the best position possible. 
And I mean, he's just constantly going up and down the hallways and he's talking about footwork and technique and where guys' eyes should be. I mean, he spent a countless number of hours with me on those fakes, um, really just talking about every detail. The guy's focus, his eyes, footwork, uh, the snap, where the snap should be. Um, I, I would say he's a huge part of those plays, but really, I mean, just being around him for me personally has been been unbelievable because he's just so detailed and thorough. He watches all 22 players on every single rep of every single practice, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams. He has a comment on all of them. He asks good questions. And I, I really think he just brings out the best in every assistant coach. So I'm fortunate to be working for him. And obviously, he had the confidence and the guts to call those plays. And that takes a lot when you're sitting in those shoes. Um, and I'm highly aware of that. So I know the players respect him and, and appreciate uh, him giving them a chance. And that's the second group I'd really say. I mean, those players, the way they went out there and executed, I mean, ultimately it's easy when you sit in my shoes to put things together or have a plan um, in place or drop a play. But at the end of the day, the players make the thing come to life. And those guys did a great job of executing. Um, we always talk about executions, really, really the key to success on the football field. And those guys, really all 11 guys executed at a high level on all three of those plays. Um, so I was happy it worked out. Sometimes those things don't work out in your way. Um, but I was happy for those players. Man, there's nothing like seeing, seeing players have success on a football field. I think that's the goal of every coach. Um, so I was happy for them. Those guys obviously deserved it. I would say ultimately, though, the goal is to win a game, and that's our most important goal. We talk about it every single week, um, and so we're obviously disappointed. We weren't able to get the result we wanted, but uh, it's fun being around a resilient group. These guys just keep on working at it. We're excited about the uh, plan that we got in place for this weekend and this weekend's game for sure. Have you seen two fake punts, or especially two fake punts in an outside kick in the same game before? Gosh, I, I don't know. Um, I'm not really good with that stuff. Um, I, you know, I, I'm more focused on us and I yeah. watch every play. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I'm sure it's been done before at some point. I couldn't tell you when. It's probably not for a long time. The players said they didn't know those plays were coming until until they came. Did you did you have an inkling that, that this is where it was headed on Sunday? Yeah, I would say I had a pretty good feeling. I was asked a question in the press conference last week and uh, <laughs> I tried not to give it away. <laughs> but I had I had a feeling back then that it was coming. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it was something we had talked about. Uh, Coach, Coach Campbell had talked to me about it during the week quite a bit, obviously. And then at some point, um, I mean, we knew going into the game we were going to execute some of them. And then other a couple of those plays were dependent upon the look coming up. We felt good about the odds of getting a look, but you just never really know. I think I shared that with you last week. Um, and then this week, everything lined up. And we got the looks, and we had a chance to call the plays. And so it worked out. A good, good poker face last week. What does that do for teams that have to prepare for you from now on? You know, what is – how do they – how much more work do they put into fakes, you know, now that that's on film? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you would have to ask those guys. I know from our perspective, I mean, we work on those things every week. Um, you're constantly looking at yourself to make sure there's nothing out there that, you know, uh, you think somebody could take advantage of. Um, so I would say most of my focus is on our team, um, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what that does for – for the opponent, but I do know that, you know, you're going to be aware of it. And anytime someone's done that, you know, a lot, then you're more aware of it and more concerned about it or make sure you prepare more for it. But uh, yeah, we're excited about the plan we got in place this week. Dave, just one more on the, the COVID stuff. Um, is, this is really the first time we've, we've seen a protocol uh, here in, in the new setup. So um, the way you, you talked about it, obviously you're vaccinated. So are you getting tested daily at the house? Is that how that works right now? Uh, yeah, so how it works right now, the, uh, well, I, I couldn't answer for the rest of the league. I know for our team, I I'm, I'm believe it's the same for everybody. But for me personally, um, I, I have to get tested twice a, or once a day. I get two tests. I get a rapid test and the test that comes back overnight. And uh, 
from my understanding, I, I need to receive two negative tests um, on back-to-back -back days. So it sounds like I would have to have a negative test by Saturday, and then I would be able to get another negative test Sunday morning, I believe, um, to make the second test in order to be there at the game. But uh, yeah, uh, we tested at the facility. So I drive into the facility and then I got to send a guy a text message. Um, and then the, uh, the person who takes the uh, sample just meets you out at the car. So you're not getting out of the car and expose anybody else. And then uh, they take the test and then I got to go back home and find out the results and just keep waiting. So it was, it was still a, a case of positive yesterday as, well, as far as you know. Yeah, uh, just to be completely transparent, it was uh, the rapid test this morning was positive too. Um, and then one more on the, the trick plays as well. Uh, you mentioned all the work that goes into those those two fake punts, the hours and the questions. So I don't know, how, how big is the bag on those? I mean, do you have 20 trick plays that you're working on at a given time or do you have to start from scratch now that you've, you've used the, those two bullets? Oh uh, yeah, no, we got a bunch of different things. Um, there's been a handful of things that we've been working on for a long time. I'm not going to share the exact number, but uh, I would say there's more where it came from. That's for sure.